So this question looks like a translate word problem question. Translate word problem questions are typically four or more lines long. And you know, visually we can see them, we can spot them really quickly. There's no need to count the number of lines. Um, if you have a longer question, just think to yourself, read it slowly, don't read the whole thing in one go, write down any quantitative information as I go. Right? So here's here's an example of how to use this strategy. So the first sentence here says a 3,000 piece rectangular jigsaw puzzle has 216 edge pieces and the rest are inside pieces. So I'm just going to write down 3,000 out of that 3,000, 216 edge. Then it says the rest. Well, I'm going to figure out, well, what is the rest? Well, that would be 3,000. You know, you can go to your calculator just to make sure you're doing your math right. 3,000 minus 216 is 2,784. So 2784 inside. And so there's my translation of that first sentence. The next sentence says the equation 48R, and whenever a question gives me an equation, I always write it down for myself. So 48R plus 216 equals 3,000 describes this situation where R represents the number of rows that contain inside pieces. Okay, so R is rows. Which of the following is the best interpretation of 48R in this context? Okay, so it sounds like if R represents the number of rows, I would think this means that there's 48 pieces per row, right? Because, um, or 48 pieces per row minus the edge pieces, like not adding in the edge pieces. That's what I would think. But let's read the answers and see what it says. There are 48R total pieces. Well, that can't be it because if that were it, it would just the equation would just be 48R equals 3,000 because we know there are 3,000 total pieces. So that's gone. Choice B, there are 48R pieces in each row. Hmm, I don't think that's it either because if R represents the number of rows, right, R could be five, right? So if you're five rows down, that's how many total pieces you'd have is 48 times five. So it's not how many, it's not how many pieces there are in each row. It's, it's the number of pieces that there are in total for however many rows you're, you're focusing on. So I don't like B. Choice C, there are 48R edge pieces. Well, no, because we know there are 216 edge pieces, so that's gone. Choice D, there are 48R inside pieces. So I like that because, again, we know that 216 plus 2784 like add those two things together and we get the total number of pieces for the entire puzzle. So we kind of translate that down into the equation that's provided. Again, the 48R, so we know the 216 is edge, which means the 48R must be inside, right? Because again, we're saying that that plus that equals the 3000. So choice D, there are 48R inside pieces, makes the most sense and therefore choice D is the correct answer.